Hi, my name is Rachel Philbeck and I'm an exhibit designer here at Bishop Museum. And today we're gonna take a look at some of the behind the scenes action that is going on to create the Pow Wow exhibit. Come follow me. The exhibits team and I work together with the curators to make the vision for the show come to life. And in this case, Pow Wow wanted a storefront scene to illustrate the history of graffiti and the emergence of street art through that. And so right now, we are in the process of building the storefront scene that artists will later come in to tag with graffiti. As you enter the space, the first thing you're gonna see is this giant highway pylon. Right now, it stands at about 16 feet, but by the time we're done with it, it's going to be a 24-foot structure. Once it's in place, the powwow team is going to come in and tag the bottom of it with some graffiti. Okay, so one of the things we had to do as an exhibits team was create the world of the storefronts, which is a very highly collaborative, creative process. And so behind me, you see the skeleton of a bodega. And if you don't know what a bodega is, it's a convenience store, and you'll find them as you walk along the streets of New York City, for example. This store is the vintage record store. It's called In The Groove. And one of the neat things about In The Groove is we get to talk about the dissipation of disco music and the rise of hip hop and how that relates to the graffiti art movement. This storefront is the skeleton of a tattoo parlor. One of the neat things about it is it gave us the opportunity to explore foam carving. And so these pillars and that crown molding up there has all been carved out of foam. We used a hot knife and some sanding techniques, and then we base coated it in Rosco Flex Coat, and then applied a paint treatment before putting it up on the wall. Well, thank you for joining me today. We hope to see you soon. Come out and see the exhibit and support your local artists.